So today, we are ready to put all of the knowledge that you guys got the last couple of weeks together and make our one-point perspective words. Remember, two weeks ago, we learned how to make one-point perspective shapes. Last week, we learned how to make block letters, and today we're gonna to take those block letters and turn them into one-point perspective words, which makes it look like the words are popping out at you. I have one over here with the word art. So get your pencil and a ruler and a piece of paper and let's give it a try. So I'm gonna now show you guys how to use those block letters that we learned about last week and combine them with the one point perspective that we learned about the week before and how to make that one point perspective word. Lots of times people do their names or you can pick a word that um, is meaningful to you or you could use somebody else's name. Lots of times people do mom or dad. It's a great Mother's Day or Father's Day gift also. Let's see, the first thing we need to do is start with that horizon line. So we're just going to make that horizontal line right across the paper. You can make the line at the bottom. You can make the line up at the top. You could hold the paper vertical. You could hold it horizontal. However you want to do it. If you're going to do a long word, you're probably going to want to hold the paper horizontal so you have room for the word. If it's going to be a shorter word, you can hold it either way. And then you want to just sort of space out your letters so that you have room for all of them. Like I said, if it's a longer word, draw real lightly so that if you need to um, erase and reformat a little bit, you guys can do that. I am going to do the word art. So I'm going to start um, just writing out my A, R, T. As you can see, the main things we need for this project are paper, ruler, and pencil. I'm going to try and do them kind of even. Now you could use a ruler if you wanted and draw a light line so that your letters line up. Okay, I drew them pretty light because now, remember how we make our block letters, I'm going to make my letter go around the outside of the A and inside the triangle there. And the R, I'm going to go around the outside of the R. You see the original letters with the lines are still inside there. And for my T, I'm gonna go around my T. Now, if you played around with some fancy letters last week, you guys can use those fancier letters if you want. Um, for the one point perspective, it's probably safest to just stick with the regular block letters though. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to erase. Oops, I forgot to do the inside part of my R. So there we go. I'm going to erase those lines. And whoops, erase the inside of my T. Now I'm gonna start with my perspective. So we wanna find every place where we have a corner and we're gonna connect that corner to our vanishing point. Now you could do your vanishing point anywhere. I'm gonna put mine pretty much right in the middle over there just to keep it pretty simple. So my vanishing point is in the middle, like I said, and I am going to now start connecting the corners of my letters to my vanishing point. It's really important, like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, that you use a straight edge to do this. If you don't have a ruler, you can always just use another piece of paper and line that up and use the edge of the paper or the edge of a book. There's a lot of different things that you can use to get a straight edge. I do have a ruler, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna just go through and connect one point to my next point, to the vanishing point, and then that corner to the vanishing point, and then that corner. See, I'm gonna do the inside corners too. Okay, I actually should do this lightly because I'm probably going to be erasing some of it. I'm going to, this corner over here, see how we talked about this with our shapes. If I was going to, it was going to go across the front of the A, I'm not going to do that then. I'm only going to do the ones that wouldn't cross over the letter. You know, that's a little confusing. That's why we draw it lightly too. If something looks weird, you can just erase it. Now the inside here, I would connect that, but it wouldn't show up, it's not inside of that open part. This would go across the A, so I don't do that one, and this would go across the A, so I don't do that one. At the top corner here, it would go across the A, so I'm not gonna do that one. And this one right here, pretty much, I think it's just gonna line up. Oh, you see it a little bit over there, so we'll keep that. So those are all the lines I'll make for the A. Now I'm gonna go through and do the same thing for the R. I'm gonna do these bottom ones are the easiest because they're pretty 
basic because you're not going to cross over the letter since they're at the bottom of the letter. Now I want to look at other corners like this one. Nope, that would cross over the R. I don't want to do it. That would cross over the R. I don't want to do it. This one looks like it's going to show up just a little bit. Now a curved edge is a little bit trickier because there's no corner there. But I do want to put um, a line coming out from there. So I'm sort of just going to take my ruler, line it up at that curve, kind of like when we did our circles and our hearts for our shape perspective. And I'm going to go and I'm going to stop when I hit that R. I'm not going to go through any of the letters. Notice how I stopped right there. Now I'm going to do my T. I'm going to do this top corner because it doesn't go through the T. But I'm going to stop as soon as I hit the line of the R. Same with this one. I'm going to go there, but I'm going to stop when I hit the R. This one goes all the way through. This one goes all the way through. This one goes all the way through. And this one goes all the way through. I'm not going to do this one because I don't want to go across my T. So those are all the letters that I am going to connect to my vanishing point. Now you can leave it like that. That looks pretty cool and you can start to add colors and designs or patterns you can use markers crayons colored pencils or just your pencil you can use paint you can do anything you would like to do with it i am going to show you one more thing you could do if you wanted to do but it's a little bit tricky i'm going to show you how to do the um make it look like the letters stop like they're 3d but they don't go all the way to the vanishing point we did this with our shapes so for example for my a i'm going to line up my a over here I'm going to take the ruler down a little bit and I'm going to make a parallel line to that line so it looks kind of like the bottom of the A. Now over here, I could use the ruler or I can just sort of try and line that up. See how that line is parallel to that side of the A. And I'm going to do one over there. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom to that one there. And this one's real tricky because it's so narrow, but I would have a little and that goes over there. Um, if you use the ruler, it makes it a little bit straighter, but I want you guys to really see what I'm doing. Then I can take my pencil, my eraser, and I can erase any of those lines that were not part of that back line. I know, this is definitely confusing and take some practice. That's why we definitely want to use a pencil when we do our one point perspective. Now I'm going to line up my R and do the same there and there. And this line is going to be parallel to that, but it's going to have that curve in it. So I'm sort of going to play around a little bit with that curve. And then I erase the line that would be below that and the line down there and the line down there. I can go back in a little bit darker. This one looks a little bit funky. Oh, look, I forgot. I would do a line going there too. Yeah. I would do that line there now because that's going to be parallel to that line and now with the T I can use my ruler line up there line up there oops do the same to the T on that side down there and see how now it would connect because that looks weird over there we want to have the back part of this bottom of the T also so see how that connects and finishes off the T. I know I'm doing this kind of fast. Just stop whenever you need to. You can always YouTube. Um, there's lots of tutorials about how to do this. So if I'm not explaining it so great, you feel free to YouTube a different art teacher's tutorial and see if they help you understand it maybe a little bit better than I am. But there's my ART. I already did one with some um, patterns and colors. So you guys can see, I did, I left the lines there on this one. You guys can leave those lines, you can erase them. 
you can put patterns and designs and color even more and just have fun do your best i know this one's a little bit tricky but i feel like the last couple of weeks we've been preparing for it so you guys are going to do great and uh, don't be afraid of making those beautiful oopses and make sure you're using a pencil with your eraser though have lots of fun send me some pictures if you can i'd love to see what you guys do all right talk to you next week